welcome back to Homestead Corner. I'm Jenny, and today we are going to try out the new Thrive Life freeze-dried meals. The Thrive Life meals finally arrived, and I'm excited to give them a try. So these are just boil water and let them sit. So let's check them out. So we're going to try the cheesy chicken the first time and these are just add boiling water that's all you have to do to these everything is inside and they have a 20 year shelf life on them so these would be great for camping hiking backpacking um, your emergency bags your bug out bag things like that uh, they are a little bit pricey, so probably not something I would really stock tons and tons of in my pantry because they're a lot cheaper ways. But having a few emergency meals, just add water, open and eat stuff, we definitely want to have that in our pantry, even if it's a smaller amount. So today we're going to try out these freeze-dried meals. We are going to start with the cheesy chicken and see how it is. So the directions are right on the back and it says open the pouch, remove the oxygen absorber, pour into a medium sized container, add two and a quarter cups of boiling water, stir well, let stand for 10 minutes, uncover, stir again and serve. So that is what we're going to do. And so you all can see the nutritional facts, let's get those on here and you can see what is in it and what is not in it and there is the ingredient list and it lists all the ingredients for even the sauces and things like that which is great and the best by date is 5 14 2042 so you don't have to worry about these going bad on the shelf and they are we're just going to tear this open so i've got two. two and a quarter cups of water here and we are just going to put this on high and bring it up to a boil. So once we get up to a nice rolling boil, I'm just going to turn this off and move my pan off the So burn. you can see what the inside looks like. We've just opened it and pulled out the oxygen absorber. And you can see the green beans, mushrooms, chicken. There's rice in there and some sauce, some cheesy creamy sauce so let's get this right into I'm gonna pour it right into the pan and you know no sense messing up a bunch of dishes we're gonna give this a quick stir try and break down those if there's any chunks in there of the sauce we want to break those down all right mm. oh, already looks good okay we're gonna put the cover on and let this sit for 10 minutes okay this has been sitting for about 10 minutes and it says to give it another stir so let's do that and then it says it's ready to serve so let's try it out. Mmm. Looks good. So there are three one cup servings in here. And sometimes a one cup serving is just fine for some people. And if you have teenagers, this is closer to one serving. I have a bunch of teenagers, so that is what we're looking at here. Let's try it. So you can see the veggies and the little chunks of chicken. I believe that's their diced chicken. It looks about the same size. Nice pieces of mushroom and instant rice. It is nice and cheesy, definitely. Mmm, that's got good flavor. Oh, it's definitely nice and cheesy. And the veggies, the veggies taste a lot fresher because they're freeze dried 
and they hydrate really, really nicely, which is good. They're nice and soft and perfect. Mm. Mm. Definitely good. I like this one. I'm not a huge fan of pre-mixed meals, honestly. This one tastes pretty good. They are definitely not the cheapest way to go for your food storage, but I think in certain situations, um, quick boil water, that's all you have to do. It's quick and easy. I think that is perfect for emergencies, some emergency situations. Your go bags, your bug out bags, camping, hiking, backpacking, things like that would be great for. Um, but this really has a nice flavor. I really like it and um, definitely good. So let's try the pasta primavera uh, veggies. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna give the vegetable pasta primavera a and try. And this one has the same exact instructions except to use two cups of water for this one. So we're gonna bring this two cups of water up to a boil. So we have this one up to a boil and I'm gonna shut this off and take it off the burner and we'll put our vegetable okay, pasta. So we have just there. opened up our bag and we're gonna remove that oxygen absorber and inside you can see all those veggies in there. There's some red sauce and pasta, all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna pour that right in. Give it a quick stir. Mmm. Oh, those veggies smell good. Yummy. All right. We are going to put our cover on this and let it sit for 10 minutes. Okay, so our pasta, vegetable pasta primavera has been sitting for about 10 minutes. And it looks like it's absorbed all the water. Pasta has definitely grown in size. Let's give this a try. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, looks good. And this one is all meat free. So if you're not into meat, this would work. All right, so it says it has three one cup servings. Let's try it out. So this has zucchini, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, uh, some asparagus. This looks super good. Let's give it a try. It smells good. It's nice and hot. Mm. It's pretty good. It's got a little sugar in the sauce which I'm not really a fan of, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, it has good flavor and the vegetables taste really good. The sauce is not my favorite, but it's not bad. And in an emergency, if this is all I had, I'd be really happy, honestly. Um, it is nice. It, it's not too saucy, which is great. And it's got all those veggies in it, which is nice and important for all of those nutrients. And you can taste the broccoli, the kale, all that stuff in there, which is really good. Um, I do like it, although I am not a fan of the sauce. It's goodish. So both of them have really pretty good flavor. I love that it's pretty clean as far as ingredients. Um, they do have a higher sodium account, uh, sodium amount. So if you're concerned about sodium, I definitely would look at what is in there um, to make sure it would work for you before you purchase these. And I will make sure there's clips of both in this video. And the vegetable pre pasta primavera, it's pretty good. It's got good texture and good flavor. It's just, I'm not a fan of the sauce. My kids tried it and said it was super good. So it depends on your version of sauce, I guess. So 
but it's got good texture and you can taste all those fresh vegetables. I really like that about it. And the chicken and rice, the cheesy chicken is really good. I really like that one. I will definitely keep both of these in my pantry for emergencies. And again, they are not the cheapest, but they have good quality ingredients, which is important. And having something for that really quick, you got to eat fast emergency. These are perfect and it only takes a little bit of water and you're ready to go. So I really like that. So overall, I say thumbs up. I really like them. I think they're good. And I think they're definitely worth keeping in the pantry, at least a few of them. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.